It's the most important play part ready. of the play, and you've done it well done. Thank you very much, Colin. Here we go. Great way to start a match. 15 love. Hard, but uh, I think the linesman was uh, on the ball. Called out. Yes. Advantage server. One game to love. Well, Lloyd went for a couple of big ones in that opening service game. Almost came off too. Tremendous uh, forehand down the line there at one point for a winner, and then he tried the same on the backhand just then, but it was oh, couldn't have been more than an inch. Dropped out an inch over the uh, the sideline. And Gerolitis holds serve. And as usual, very quickly, back on court after the break. Lloyd speaks to the uh, umpire, I think, asking for a little quiet in the crowd. We'll soon see. John Lloyd serve. Lloyd at the southern end, serving for the first time in the match. Oh. <laughs> That's 15.
last 30. Watch the court coverage of these two, Gerolitis in particular, but Lloyd's no slouch. Ball. Out. 15-40. Big chance for Gerolitis to get an early break. And then singles final of the Marlborough Australian Open. Oh. Oh. Lloyd down, 15-40. Yes, sir. a lead to with this fellow because he's fast, he's is confident to start with and he if he starts riding high he'll put so much pressure on Lloyd. Two love, get lighters. Oh. Oh. Fifteen love. the zigzag step of Gerolitis as he comes in after his serve. changes direction coming in, it's odds to nothing you'll be in the right place. Forty fifteen. But on that occasion, the uh, return of serve from Lloyd, very uh, finely judged down the line. Three games to love. Wraps up that uh, service game with his second ace of the match. Relatus <laughs> uh, on his feet still. One ups down the racket handle. A moment of uh, contemplation and he's back. 
heading for the northern end of the court to receive service from John Lloyd who's taking his uh, time 15 gets a reminder from the umpire that it's time he was back out there Leading three games to love, and we welcome to the commentary position Neil Fraser. Good afternoon, Gary. Good afternoon, everyone. Great uh, scene. Gerolitis away to a great start. Ball. John Lloyd has been in to hold service. Game Lloyd, Carolina leads three games to one. Carolina running hot as he did in his uh, semi-final against John Alexander. <laughs> Love 15. He just sort of uh, guessed the way that Lloyd was playing that and uh, then tried to pull his racket out of the way in the last minute, but unfortunately hit it wide. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Magnificent return of service. One we've come accustomed to see from John Lloyd this week. Oh. Football? A football, yes. Phil Dent will be interested to know that. <laughs> Double foul. Fifteen forty. Yes, there is a specialist football judge in operation for this match. crowd, I think willing John Lloyd Games to two. Break back for John Lloyd. 
and with his serve to come a chance to level at three all. So after uh, scooting off the mark, Carolina's been pegged back. Tremendous crowd here at the centre court arena at Kuyong. 15. Empire, uh, Gary continually uh, reminding John Lloyd there, I think he is just giving him the 15 second warning. <laughs> Not so much a warning, but uh, a reminder. A reminder, yes. Yeah. And that's the overhead view from our camera on the Clark Mobile Crane. Tremendous. Uh, and here's John Lloyd to serve. Down 2-3. Out. 15, love. that one where he knew that leaders had no hope of getting to it. Well, that's a little bit difficult to assess sometimes. using uh, all the courts uh, and showing their amazing speed around the court by uh, running down some of these great shots. Oh. Oh. Out. 15, love. Close personal friends these two have been training together here in Australia for the last uh, couple of weeks running together oh. Oh. practicing together and in fact on the eve of this uh, singles final they had dinner together I wonder what they talked about <laughs> Lloyd on that occasion, one of the few times uh, sort of stepping around his backhand and hitting a glorious forehand return of service. Ah. 30-15. Tremendous get by Gerolitis on that occasion. Fifteen. Game, Gerald 
Riders. He leads four games to three. New balls, please. Well, there are no easy points in this match on either side of the net. So some great uh, court coverage and some great recoveries by both players in that, uh, in that last game. Gerolitis for the first time in seven games. Sits down briefly. I mean briefly. Back on his feet again and uh, on his way back onto the court. John Lloyd still sitting there like uh, he's got from now till next Christmas. being played at a very fast pace, uh, not only in the power of shot, but in the movement around the court, and in between points, there's very little delay. Fifteen love. Fine base run line rally that I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of as the match uh, progresses. Magnificent passing shot, giving Gerolitis the opportunity to take that badly needed break. side of the line. Out. Out. 
advantage receiver. Second game point for Geralitis to break serve. Five games to three. That occasion, John Lloyd elected to stay on the baseline, but against a very quick and agile player like Vetus Gerolitis, he wasn't going to let him get away with it, and he quickly took net position and subsequently gone to a 5 3 lead. Exceptional speed, Neil. Amazingly quick. By both players. happy about uh, Gerolitis cross-court backhand that just clipped the baseline and the sideline. Oh. Set point, Gerolitis. Six games to three. Neil, I don't know if you noticed just then, as uh, John Lloyd came off the court, taking off the tape around the grip of his racket, obviously we'll replace it with fresh tape, which I assume is rosin impregnated. Yes, it's, um, it's a tape that has become very popular with a lot of top players in the last uh, 12 months or so, in particular. Villas is uh, one player that continually uh, uses the tape around his racket. Uh, John Alexander is another player. Um, it's become quite popular. I think it uh, does help the, 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 the length of the uh, uh, leather grip on a racket. The sweat that uh, comes out of a person's hand and goes directly into the leather grip makes it uh, rather stale very quickly. Mm -hmm. The speed of foot of these two, we often see a fast player, but seldom we see two players as excitingly fast as these two. There is a uh, 
The big contrast, I think, uh, with Vita Sterilitis playing John Lloyd today in comparison with playing John Alexander yesterday. Uh, John uh, Alexander is not quite known for his speed around the court. And uh, equally, uh, John Lloyd is uh, very much known for his speed around the court. And today, he really seems to have uh, wings on his feet. Lloyd to serve, second set, he trails 6-3, the first set going to Gerolitis. Lloyd electing to stay uh, back on the service again has paid the penalty once again. Yes, Neil, that Lloyd can win this match? Well, I think that the, the first set there was um, three service breaks, and so uh, they both uh, traded uh, service breaks. I think it would give John Lloyd uh, a lot of confidence to know that uh, uh, if he does return uh, serve very well, uh, he can be right in the match. Uh, I do think that uh, the speed of Gerolitis around the court is nullifying that tremendous advantage that John Lloyd normally has when he plays players, but uh, it will uh, a lot depend on, I think, uh, how well Lloyd returns serve, or uh, vice versa, how well Gerolitis actually serves to John Lloyd. Comments by Neil Fraser. no doubt like to serve like that all the time. Four aces by uh, Gerolitis. Oh. 
Well, another football. Tremendous speed then, Colin. I didn't think John Lloyd had a chance of getting a, a, a play at that, but uh, not only did he play at it, he nearly hit it uh, back and over for a winner. didn't come off though. Yes, he got uh, quite a few over Bob Giltman's head yesterday, but uh, today he hasn't been uh, so successful. Gerolitis elected to stay on the baseline and uh, John Lloyd took advantage of that. game, Colin, uh, two double faults and two aces. Return of service by Gerolitis on that occasion, allowing Lloyd no chance at it. Oh, 
his great speed that enabled him to get into position to play that shot. Uh, 30, 40. Forecast has indicated we get into the 30s. I believe reached 31 degrees at the present time. I'm serving by John Lloyd to come from behind in that game. Peter Sterilitis having two game points to uh, break serve on that occasion. It was interesting to note that uh, Peter Sturilitis did move around on one occasion on a second serve, uh, endeavouring to put the mental pressure on John Lloyd's, uh, what he describes as his dodgy second serve. And uh, a double fault did result. Strong or both wings, Sturilitis, Neil? Very strong. Continually putting pressure on Lloyd by changing ends uh, a lot quicker. Peters is always around first. Oh. Double ball. Last fifteen. Well, a few double faults creeping into Gerolitis' game, Colin. Three double faults in his uh, the previous game and the first point of this one. Mm -hmm. Fifteen all. Superb first service then to more or less square the ledger. to stand up rather than come through then to John Lloyd and uh, cause him to slightly miss time under a lot of pressure. one of the few flaws in Vetus' game, his second serve. Advantage 
country scene. Fantastic recoveries by both players under a lot of pressure. And Andy said. Chalk came there. John Lloyd, I think, uh, is of the same opinion. I'm wondering which linesman they're querying. It's the side linesman, is it? Yes. Uh, one behind John Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd is uh, discussing it with him, but uh, the call is standing. Second serve from Gerolitis. Lloyd sort of half-heartedly... Two games all. It raises the old bogey. Should you ever give a point away, Neil? Well, these two players are, are very well respected by each other, and uh, I think Lloyd acknowledged that uh, and he didn't quite know what to do. We say it again and again, speed. Thirty nine. Forty nine. Great lunging volley by Lloyd, but Gerolitis. On the line. Forty Three games to two, second set. Here we have the, the split screen, uh, John Lloyd on the left, taking a uh, Maybe a vitamin pill or uh, something in the glass of water. Gerolitis, uh, one of the few occasions uh, sitting down and relaxing in a chair. The thought going through his mind, he's in for a harder battle than he expected.
do believe that as the match goes on, John Lloyd's confidence must be improving tremendously. I heard him uh, talk about the match, and I don't think he went into the match with a lot of confidence. But as the match progresses, he surely must realise he has a great chance to win this event, this title. Number six, Gerolitis. Out. Game, Gerolitis. Three games all. Convincing game to beat us then, Neil. Yes, Colin, I was just thinking I've been very lucky to see a lot of the uh, big tournaments this year, but I don't think I've seen a, a match played by two quicker players in such a big tournament uh, as the Australian final. Both players very fast around the court. Oh. Oh. Double fault. Love 15. Two double faults to John Lloyd. got his racket to that one and a uh, little expectation thought it might have gone back. <laughs> uh, 30, 15. That was Neil Fraser involuntarily saying let it go. with the baseline judge saying it was well out over the baseline. gives the uh, 
linesman a tough time, Colin, that really puts them under a bit of pressure? Yes, he does it in most of his matches. Uh, makes it very hard for a linesman uh, not to be slightly affected if uh, a player of his standing gives him that heavy stare treatment and a few words. Neil is always first back on the court. Yes, and continually uh, taking the, the long walk around, as you, we've noticed all over the season, uh, throughout the season. The score, first set to Gerald 6-3. He now serves the score 3-4 against John Lloyd. Final, Marlborough Australian Open. Oh, the new ball's being taken. Seven for Gerolitis and uh, another very easy service game uh, for him. That's two in a row that uh, John Lloyd has not put Cletus Gerolitis under any pressure at all on his service. Uh, John Lloyd on this occasion uh, winning his serve to love. Although it's a rather overcast day, there's still a lot of warmth, a lot of humidity. We do have some blue coming through into the sky, which wasn't apparent half an hour or so ago, so every indication this will get through the day. 
without that worry of rain. Breeze has firmed up just a little bit, but still very pleasant conditions. Carolitis again on court with the balls in hand ready to serve as his opponent John Lloyd moves out. Final now in the second set, set to Gerolitis 6-3 and uh, Gerolitis serving four games to five, he trails second set. The pressure shifting from John Lloyd onto Vetus Gerolitis. Great return of serve by John Lloyd, the first point in this vital game. Out. 15 all. by John Lloyd, straight at the body of Vetus Gerolitis, forcing an error. There he Seemed to snatch at that one a little bit, hit it uh, very late or very quickly. John Lloyd try to run around this one. Out. Thirty forty. Set point for John Lloyd to even the scores at one set all. Australian men's singles Marlborough final. A host of friends at Kuyong score five games all, second set. Geralize won the first six three. Out. Out. Not fifteen. Fifteen four. 
Yeah. 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 acknowledging that uh, return of serve almost as soon as it left Vetus's racket. Yeah. Great forehand bringing Gerolitis closer to a break. those forehand volleys not knowing whether to go for a lot or just to play it safe. On that occasion he played it safe. Came unstuck. Five seconds set. Well, this uh, set is uh, a real toss of the coin job. Girl, I just took the first set, 6 3. Lloyd leads 6 5 in the set, but Girl, I just serve. And there is a capacity crowd. Jared Kuyong for this uh, rich singles final in the Marlborough Australian Open. dollars the difference between winning and losing here now. Twenty-eight thousand for the winner. Fourteen for the runner-up. Fourteen fifteen.
I think in this situation it will depend on the, the second serve of the, the respective players. Lloyd will serve the first point. second serve on that occasion uh, definitely catching uh, Beatus Gerolitis he was expecting it down the middle that uh, the three points so far, uh, first serve has been missed on each occasion and the second serve has not been put back into play. Great point. Two points four. points to two. and tuck every point with service so far in the tiebreaker three all change ends no rest one more serve from this end for gerolitis is crowding the net on that occasion. Oh. Here's the big test for John Lloyd. Gerald is getting ready to attack the second serve. Great second serve from John Lloyd. Carolina leads five, five points point to four. And that's the first point against service. Carolina with two serves to come from the northern end. Could be a costly volley. Set points, Vetus Gerolitis. 
to go to a two sets to love lead. against serve in that tiebreaker and that was all it took. I was surprised, uh, Gary, at the number of first serves that were missed on that occasion in that tiebreaker. It uh, is a normal practice for the players to uh, slow their first serve down and get uh, as many first serves in as possible. But uh, is it the, uh, the pressure of the occasion? Well, it's a pretty big occasion. Or is it the pressure of the... 14,000 extra dollars. <laughs> Here are lighters, you can see on your screen. noticeably uh, taking the opportunity now on the changeover to have a 30 seconds or so in the chair rest John Lloyd down two sets six three seven six to Gerolitis five please and in the opening game of this third set Gerolitis to serve from the southern end has shown no particular favours for either player but I think as this third set unfolds uh, more will be getting behind John Lloyd oh. Oh. hoping that he can stretch the match out In, took it early, hit it in front of him, right at the feet of Gerolitis as he approached the net.
He leads one game to mark, third set. Not uh, quite the blistering uh, pace we saw from Gerolitis in his semi-final against John Alexander. I don't know whether it's uh, just that he's not <laughs> in quite that gear or whether uh, Lloyd's keeping him pulled back to the field, as it were. just a little bit I think Gary by the fact that uh, he's got so much pace and power against him that he's got a tip for his own whereas against uh, John Alley, uh, against other matches he's played he's dominated and he's been able to just call a tune and uh, lift his pace accordingly. 